today, May 29th, is officially 10 years since Up was released. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Z in Disneyland. Now I know I don't usually upload a Disney video on a Wednesday but today May 29th is officially 10 years since Up was released in the United States. Now it wasn't released in the UK until October but most of the things being released to celebrate Up are closer to the US release than the UK release so I thought I would film this video for this date as the US release is usually considered the official release or the general release. So today is going to be a collection video. I'm not going to show you clothes, bags, ears but I am wearing some ears that Miss Amy very kindly gifted me so I will leave a link to her shop and my discount code in the description down below for you guys. I'm also wearing a Hot Topic Up t-shirt but I do have other clothes, another set of ears, stuff like that but I won't show you those because some things I'm struggling to find and all I really want to show you is my plush, my figures, my pins and then like a little miscellaneous this is going to be like art things so we will start with the plush as you guys know that I am predominantly a plush collector for everything that I show you I'm going to have a counter in the corner that will just say up collection so that if I do decide to show you anything in the future then I can just continue to use that counter so the first thing I'm going to show you I haven't mentioned it in that list because I only have one up mug but it is this one so we will start the counter at one it just has Doug and it says squirrel and then if you turn it around it has Kevin there is an up mug in the Disney store currently that I would really like but I am just waiting for the right opportunity to get it At the moment I just have a plush sat in this one I don't drink from it so I'm not in a rush to get another mug as it's not going to be used. Most of the things that I am showing you guys comes from my up display so I've took it all off to show you and then I'll have to put it back how it was originally which is going to be very difficult but wish me luck with that. So let's start with the plush now that I've got the mug out of the way. The first one you will have already seen if you saw my collaboration video with James from Pimpals and that is this beautiful Minnie Mouse plush. So she has a grape soda pin on her bow and then her dress is the exact same dress as the dress you can buy in the dress shop and I just absolutely adore it. I'm still so happy that he bought it for me and she lives over there but there are some plush that usually live in the mountain over there so some eagle-eyed viewers may notice that that plush mountain is a little bit smaller today because they are next to me ready to show you. So that is my mini. This plush also lives over there and I got it from Walt Disney World in 2015 and it's Doug with the cone of shame on. I absolutely adore him and this plush was the reason that I wasn't going to get the new Doug plush from the Disney store but I decided just to bite the bullet. I love Doug. I have him with the cone of shame and without the cone of shame so it's okay. <laughs> Next I've got another little dog and this is the one that lives in the mug I was talking about in case you're wondering. He is only small, he's called the beanbag plush and I think he was about eight pound but I love the detail on his collar and he's just so cute. He doesn't get in the way whatsoever, I couldn't have left him in the shop. So you will have seen these in a recent Disney haul but I got the 10th anniversary Disney store up plushes so the first one I got was Carl, he's got his little tennis balls on his walker which I adore and he's got this 10th anniversary tag which I really need to get a tag protector for, I will get on that immediately. Then I've got Russell, I love that he's got so many badges, I would actually like to find out what all the different badges are but I don't know how long that would take me. And again, he's got his little tag on, which I need to take good care of. I don't really have a favourite from the four they released, but I do love Russell so much. It's just that Carl seems to be my favourite, but 
they were just amazing plushes. The only thing I wish they'd done was an Ellie plush, but that wasn't meant to be, obviously. Next is my Doug. So he's just a bigger version of this one, basically. But I couldn't leave him on his own. It would have seemed weird if I went into a shop to buy four plushes and came out with three. And I just love him so much. He has the tag as well. He's so soft and fluffy and like I said these ones all live up there because they're far too big to live over in my display. And finally for my plushes I have the new Kevin. I was really panicking when I saw that Walt Disney World bought out a Kevin plush because I thought well I'm never going to be able to get him and then the Disney store released him so I have managed to get one and I'm so lucky. And there is his tag. So if you guys have been watching my Sum Sum videos, you will know that I am into my Pixar Sum Sums now. And I've kept the Toy Story separate to show you in a separate video. And I thought I would put the Up Sum Sums in this video. So I'm still going to have the Up collection in the corner, but I'm also going to put the Sum Sum count underneath it because I really want all of these videos to fit in together as one. So there's only five Sum Sums from this set. The first one is Doug Sands Cone of Shame. He has his collar on and he's got a really happy expression. He reminds me of the I have just met you and I love you scene and he's just gorgeous. And then I've got Doug with the cone of shame. The only thing that's a bit weird about this one is he doesn't have his collar. And my experience with when my dog has had to have the cone of shame, it has to attach to his collar. But I really love this one and I couldn't get one without the other. I just can't do that. Then I've got Kevin who translates really well into some some form, I must say. He is super cute and these were all proper Disney store, by the way. Then you've got Russell. He has a couple of badges, but nowhere near as many as the plush had. But I still really like that detail, and he is such a cute sum sum. And then finally, I have Carl. He is adorable, and he's got his little walker on his side there. Like I said, I really wish they'd made an Ellie, but that just isn't meant to be, clearly. The one thing that up merchandise is severely lacking is Ellie merchandise which makes me really sad but she isn't in most of the film so I suppose they don't really want to make merchandise of her. So those are my up sum sums. So the next sum sum video that I do the counter will carry on from this video and this one carries on from my Pixar sum sums which you saw last week. So now we'll move on to figures. The first one I've got is this Carl pop vinyl. Again there's no Ellie in the pop vinyls but I remember as soon as I saw the call, I had to get him. And I love the walker that he's got. And he's got a little grape soda there as well. Then I've got Russell. He's got a lot of badges, but obviously because they're so small, they can't have detail on them. So they're just different colours. And I just think he's been done really, really well. And then finally for the pop vinyls, there is this Doug one. I don't think they did one with his cone of shame because I imagine it would be quite hard to do and probably wouldn't fit in a standard box. But he's got his collar on and he is adorable. And then the next three figures I'm going to show you were Animator Littles. So they came out of the red wave and I managed to get all three that I wanted in one try. And this was before I started filming these unboxings. So the first one I got was the house. It is really cute and really detailed for how cheap they were. They were £4 each, so to get this much detail on a little £4 figure is just insane to me. Then you've got Carl as a child, which I really love that they did this because you don't get hardly any merchandise of Carl as a child. But that meant that they also released Ellie. So this is the only Ellie thing I own bar pins. There are a few pins I'm missing which I'm hoping to get very soon from people doing pickups and stuff like that. But this is the only Ellie figure or plush or whatever that I own. And then the final thing is a Christmas ornament but I keep it out all year round. And that is the Up House. It takes such beautiful pictures and I just love it to pieces so it always stays over there. Never ever goes on a tree. Right now I'm going to show you the art pieces. Some are art and one is a pillow, but I just didn't really have anywhere else to put the pillow and it does have artwork on it, so this is my art bit. And then once I've shown you that, I will show you the pins and then we're all done. So the first thing is this children's 
Treasure Cove Stories book. I chose to put this in art because it does have beautiful artwork and I don't have the official Art of Up book even though I really want it. So I had to put this somewhere and I decided to put it with art. Then I've got two beautiful prints which only arrived yesterday actually from my very talented friend Jade over at Pascal's Paint Pot. I'm going to leave her link in the description but this is a beautiful Ellie print. When she released them I only had the money for Ellie but then she surprised me by sending me the Carl as well because she said that they couldn't be split up and I'm so grateful to her for doing that. I think the prints are so beautiful. What I plan to do is get a double frame, put them both in and then put it above my pin board if there's room so it will look really cute. But I will leave a link to her shop down below because I'd really like you to support her shop. The next piece of art was a postcard from the Wonderground Gallery in Disneyland and I had to get it. What I do is I put this on the pin board and then I put pins next to it to keep it from falling out and if I do say so myself it looks really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do if my pin board fills up because obviously I'll have to take this off but I'll probably just frame it and put it the other side of the pin board. Then I've got a coaster which I must admit I don't use as a coaster, I display it on the shelf but my friend Jess got this for me. I can't remember what shop, I'm so sorry, but I'm sure if Jess watches this video, she'll drop it in the comments for you guys. But I absolutely love this coaster and I love the scene she chose as well. And then this is from Luna Moon Shop. It is Carl and Ellie's wedding day and it just hangs up and it's just so beautiful. And then finally, again, I'm so sorry, I can't remember where I got this from. It is a Carl dangling heart. It basically goes on this little pin I have above the shelf. Because our walls aren't very strong, we have to put pins underneath shelves to make sure they don't fall. And I just hang it from the pin that's supporting the shelf above. And then the final thing I wanted to show you was from Park Package and it is this gorgeous cushion. I've had this for so long and I love supporting Park Package so I'm going to put their link in the description down below so that you can shop their mystery boxes and all their other beautiful items and I just love the artwork on this pillow. So now I'm moving on to pins. The first one I'm going to show you is a fantasy pin from Alice Vitram which I will leave a link to her below as well and it is their letterbox with the handprints on and it is so cute. Then I'll show you the Disney Store ones before I show you the Parks ones. So this stays in the glass bottle all year round because I think it looks so cute displayed like this and it just holds on to the back with a backer. But I really like the Pin in a Bottle series. The next ones came as a set of three and I honestly wasn't expecting them to be so tiny but the first one is this grape soda pin. I'm going to show this to you properly in a while anyway, but this is the regular sized grape soda pin. So they are very tiny. I think it was £12.50 for three, which wasn't bad. And it would have been too good to be true if it was three normal sized pins anyway. So there's the grape soda one. There's the Carl one and there's the Russell one. Obviously I already have a grape soda one but I didn't want to part with either so I've kept both. The next pin I've got is from 2018, the new year, and it has Russell on. I didn't manage to get the 2019 pin for this year but it wasn't up anyway and I didn't manage to get the limited edition Disneyland Paris pins either purely because they were just too expensive to be picked up for me. The next one isn't from the Disney store or the parks, it is from the GR Deli. Gear Deli, the Disney Studio store in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard and it is Russell with his bag of popcorn and he just looks adorable. I love this pin so much. And then the rest are all from the parks. The first set is a booster pack that I got from Animal Kingdom. It's four pins and it's like four different stages of Carl and Ellie's relationship. So that is them as children, which I really love. It's when she gives him the grape soda badge. Then you've got when they're both working at the zoo together with the balloon motif that runs through the film. Then you've got their wedding day 
which I think is adorable. And then you've got them in old age just before Ellie breaks all of our hearts. So that was a really good set. I think it was about $20 and it's just beautiful. I took it out of the packaging obviously because I wanted it on that pin board. Next pin I've got you buy by itself and it's them again on their wedding day but it's when she kisses him instead of when he kisses her because it's usually you may now kiss the bride but Ellie was very headstrong so she kissed him. Then I've got this really cute letterbox one where the letterbox actually opens and I really love it as it goes with my fantasy pin as well. This one had to be picked up for me because I've never been able to get it but it's a little spinner and it says I have been very good today I have just met you and I love you and squirrel the next one is this beautiful house with the balloon beads which is really cute it has to have two backers otherwise the balloons would move around which I think is a really nice touch then I bought this off a friend I'm not sure how genuine it is but it's one of the hidden Mickey pins and it is Doug, which is really cute. Then you saw it earlier, this is my regular sized grape soda pin. And then the final from Sum Sum Pin Blind Bags. So the first one is Carl. Some of these I got from Disneyland myself last year and others I've had to buy to complete the set. Doug as well, again, his tongue is hanging out like on my actual Sum Sums. Kevin and Russell. So that is pretty much everything up that I own, bar clothes and accessories, obviously. So I have the really strong suspicion that I've probably forgot something, but the good thing about these collections is I can update you later on with more things. I may buy some things from Disneyland this year, I still need to get the Disneyland Paris pins, I'm trying to secure a pickup from there and there are always new things being introduced. UP means so much to me because I actually wrote my university dissertation on UP which I still need to write a blog post about but as you guys know I'm just really struggling with blog post writing at the moment. I will get around to it. I really hope you've enjoyed this collection video and whenever I buy new things I will film a new collection video for you but this one is extraordinarily long because this is what I've been collecting for the past 10 years. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and tell me in the comments what was your favourite item. I will see you on Friday for my next Toy Story countdown video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you again real soon. Bye!